Bloodlines, BBC release trailer for new drama sign up for free now for the biggest moments for morning TV subscribe and valid email when you subscribe we will use the information you provide to send you these news sometimes they'll include recommendations for other related newsletters or service our privacy notice explains more about how we use your data and your rights you can unsubscribe at any the BBC is launching a fresh new drama for Sunday's nights called Bloodlands BBC One will be airing the show from Sunday, February 21st at 9 p.m. The series consists of four episodes which will be airing on a weekly basis. Co.uk looks at the settings and filming locations for the new drama. Where is Bloodlands set? Bloodlands follows Northern Irish police detective Tom Brannock, played by James Nesbitt, who reopens a cold case on an assassin known DCI Brannock and his partner DS Neves McGovern, Charlene McKenna take on the case despite warnings from other police officers to keep away as a deep-rooted conspiracy is afoot. They decide to pursue the investigation after it appears Goliath has resurfaced after 20 years with someone kidnapped from their car, the hallmark of the assassin. The case is particularly sensitive to Brannock as his wife was among Goliath's or Bloodlands has a strong setting in the form of Strangford Lock in County Down, Northern Ireland where the detectives will find clues about the cold-blooded kid. The show will be set in and around various locations in Northern Ireland but predominantly the real-life setting of Strangford. The series was first announced back in 2019 with writer Chris Brandon on writing duties while line of duties Jed Mercurio serving as an executive producer. Speaking about the show, lead star Nesbitt said, It's great to be back making a drama in and about Northern Ireland which now has a film and television industry as good as any. We have compelling scripts from a brilliant young writer who was raised in County Down, which are very exciting and psychologically complex. Writer Brandon said about the idea for Bloodlands, the idea comes from a distinct sense of play. I spent part of my life growing up in Strangford, a small village at the mouth of the lock in Northern Ireland. It's a place that always sparked my imagination. The austere beauty of scarred and sodden hillsides. The windswept islands and bouldered shorelines always seemed, in themselves, to hold the memory of stories past. Brandon said he wanted to tell the story of someone who was inextricably linked to the land as well as creating an allegory for modern-day Northern Ireland. Trending where is Bloodlands filmed? Bloodlands was filmed in and around Belfast and Strangford Lock in early 20. Another key location was the Mourne Mountains which was used by the crew. Nesbitt reflected on filming, saying Belfast was a an exciting, wonderful, vibrant place but at the same time said it still bore the hallmarks of on the more challenging aspects of the shoot, the missing and cold feet star said, it was incredibly cold, particularly when we had to go down to the islands of Strangford. We'd be transporting crew, equipment, food, toilets, to these remote islands and it was bitterly cold, the wind really comes and cuts you through to the bone. At times it was hard to speak, my mouth would be paralyzed and I just couldn't get my jaw moving. Fellow star Lisa Dwan, who plays Tori went on to say of the tough weather conditions, saying, Jimmy and I had a series of very intense filming days up the Mourne Mountain and I remember one day filming in a snow blizzard, having to make our way to set by jeep as the cars couldn't make it up the mountain. She admitted at one point she ended with her hair and eyelashes caked in snow while her lips had gone blue such was the intensity of the snowstorm.